terms of shipment. The exporter must be aware of different modes of transport, especially for performing the overseas part of the journey. The choice of carrier, whether an aircraft or a ship, will depend on many factors including product and marketing characteristics as well as the cost and non-cost factors. In addition to commercial aspects of movement of cargo to the port of shipment, the exporter is required to comply with an important legal requirement. In this lesson, you will study about the various aspects related to the terms of shipment. After studying this lesson, you should be able to understand packing of goods, nature of export cargo, liner and tramp shipping services. Goods in transit may be damaged or lost due to rough handling, crushing weight, corrosion, pilferage, etc. Transport usually subjects the cargo to mechanical forces such as shocks, vibrations, pressures and climatical forces including temperature and moisture. The packaging needs to be strong enough to withstand the rigors of stowage and multiple handling. Intermodal transportation is the movement of cargo from one location to another location via more than one mode of transportation, that is rail, road, river or ocean. Unitization in general terms may be defined as consolidation of a number of bags, boxes, packs, etc. in a single cargo unit, most important of which is the container. In international trade, Containerization has become a predominant form of unitized transport. It enables the transportation of cargo from the warehouse of the exporter to that of the importers directly. Many products are hazardous in handling, transportation and storage because, for instance, they are explosive, flammable, poisonous or corrosive. They are therefore subject to certain regulations. In India, the Indian Institute of Packaging has been authorized to carry out all necessary tests and issue the appropriate certificate. The demand for transport services is a derived demand and the nature of these services is determined by the nature of goods traffic in international trade. The internationally traded goods for which different types of transport services are needed may be categorized into three broad groups on the basis of their marketing requirements. These groups are bulk cargo, general or non-bulk cargo. Bulk cargo by its very nature can be carried and stored in large quantities mainly because the market demand does not frequently change since they are free from attacks of product development, changes in design, obsolescence, deterioration, and depreciation. General cargo comprises of manufactured, semi-manufactured, processed and semi-processed goods and materials moving in small quantities in cases, packages, parcels, bales, etc. Examples of such cargo are engineering goods, leather products, textiles, drugs and pharmaceuticals, tobacco, spices and marine products. In contrast to bulk cargo, general cargo cannot be carried and stored in large quantities mainly because of their susceptibility to fast changes in their demand due to changes in fashion, design, season and technology. There are different types of tramp ships to carry different kinds of bulk cargo. On the other hand, carriers which provide regular and scheduled shipping services to carry heterogeneous cargo suiting the marketing requirements of general cargo are known as liners. A liner ship is built and ruled to satisfy the transport demand of a variety of cargoes. The liner shipping is designed to carry a variety of cargo with spaces for bales, bundles, boxes, barrels, drums, etc. 
as well as for reefer or refrigerated cargo. The designs of the holes and number of decks will be different from those of a tram. With the increased share of containerized cargo, specially designed container ships for carrying different categories of containers operate. A tram carrier is primarily designed to carry the most simple and homogeneous cargo in large quantity. It is therefore designed to fully utilize its carrying capacity for carriage of one type of cargo. Tell us if this is right or wrong. Liner shipping service is the shipping services which carry heterogeneous cargo. Right or wrong? Right. Unitization includes consolidation of a number of bags, boxes, packs, etc. in a single cargo unit. Right or wrong? Wrong. Time charter includes chartering of a ship for a fixed time period for operation within undefined territories. Right or wrong? Wrong. Before we end, let us briefly revise what we have studied till so far. In international trade, goods are properly packed to protect them, to keep a consignment together, to protect the goods from damaging the environment and be affected by it. Unitization assists the process of cargo handling through reducing the handling frequency of each cargo unit. These days, containerization has become a predominant form of unitized transport. It enables the through transportation of cargo from the warehouse of the exporter to that of the importers. The nature of the transport services is determined by the nature of goods traffic in international trade. These goods can be grouped into three broad categories on the basis of their marketing requirements. These groups are bulk cargo and general cargo. Bulk cargo requires such kind of shipping services in which large quantity of one type of cargo can be carried. These services are called tramp shipping services. On the other hand, the carriers which are used to carry heterogeneous cargo are called liner shipping services.